finish this program, we're gonna add a third and final view to our program, one to show astronaut details. This will be shown when you select a mission from the main screen, then scroll down and choose an astronaut from that mission, bang, that will show the astronaut details. This should be entirely practice for you, which is no bad thing, repeating what you've done so far more than once so it really sinks into your long-term memory. But I hope it'll also show you the importance of navigation view for showing and hiding views. We're digging through information, going through all missions, then to a particular mission, and then to a particular astronaut on a particular mission. So go ahead and make a new SwiftUI view in Xcode. You want to call this thing an astronaut view. This is going to have a single astronaut property. So we'll say astronaut is an astronaut. And then for the body, it'll have a very similar scroll view VSAC approach we've used before. So we'll say there is a scroll view. Inside there is a VStack. Inside there is an image of astronaut.id, which will be resizable. We can scale it down freely, but importantly, scale to fit, so it'll take up the amount of space it needs. Then we'll say below that, there's more text with astronaut description. This will have padding attached to it, and it's attached to the text itself, not to the VSAC around it, which means the image will run edge to edge. The text will be inset slightly. Then for our scroll view, we'll attach a background color of our dark background add a nav title of astronaut.name. And because we're now tertiary screen, we'll say navigation bar title display mode is still going to be in line, just so it stays small. Once again, we've requested a property comes in. We've got to pass that into our preview in order to carry on down here. So we'll say there is static let astronauts be a dictionary of string astronaut here set to bundle.main.decode astronauts.json and inside the previews we'll say send in please astronaut of astronaut and i'm going to use uh, the id of armstrong now if you remember reading a dictionary key may or may not return a value because it could be empty uh, and so in this case we're going to say to swift this is going to actually work i know you think it's optional Trust me, it's definitely gonna be there. Uh, and if I'm wrong, crash my code. And in Swift, we write that by saying an exclamation mark after an optional. It's called a force unwrap. You generally want to avoid them as you know what you're doing. This is definitely, definitely safe, so it's okay to use here. And it's doubly safe, it's a preview anyway, so it's not really a problem. Anyway, we can now present that from the navigation link inside Mission View up here. We're currently showing our crew down here. And when once tap, we show astronaut details. Uh, instead, we'll say, show our astronaut view with astronaut being crew member dot astronaut. Let's go ahead and press command R so you can see the whole thing in its finished glory as it were. So hopefully now we can see uh, a very natural UI that progresses from super broad to specific, to really specific, if it actually loads that is. Come on, MacBook Pro, you can do it. There we go. So here's all our missions in our scrolling grid view. Um, I can select, say, Apollo 12, which I think has a brilliant uh, mission patch. Look at that, love it. And then from here, choose Conrad, and there is Conrad's uh, layout. Very, very nice, all works super smoothly, I think, in terms of the layout. So you can see, we're going from really broad to more and more specific as we go. So nice and uh, everything here for all our data to one particular mission and then to one particular person. iOS takes care of animating in the new views, providing the back buttons with the right title, handling left to right swipes from the edges, you can push and pop your views and more. It's a really natural user interface experience.